it's Mrs. Pebbles Flintstone to you, okay? Coming at you live, grown, sexy, feeling brand new. Uh-huh. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to I guess what you could call Halloween part two here on my channel. So this is my second and final Halloween look. I am turning myself into pebbles from the Flintstones. She's the cute little baby, but she's now grown up, glowed up, she's cute. But for this video, I kind of wanted to focus specifically on the hair aspect of this costume. Now because she has this really cute fluffy ponytail that like sticks high in the air and looks super, super cute, you know the curly girl version of that would just be called a pineapple now lately I myself have been struggling with my pineapples and why because my hair is growing so I guess it's kind of a good problem to have but I definitely have noticed that my hair just looks a lot more like a mushroom than an actual beautiful pineapple it's just kind of like flopping so today I'm going to show you guys not just for the sake of this costume but for the sake of just everyday life exactly how you can turn a floppy mushroomy looking kind of ponytail mess into a pineapple very quickly and very easily Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I am starting with old colored hair. It's colored with the Curl Smith hair makeup. If you guys are interested in seeing what colors I make, how exactly I got this whole look, then go ahead and make sure you check out my last video where I transformed myself into Velma. So I'll link that up here and in the description box below for you guys to check out. All right, so let me just pull up my super cute inspirational photo of Pebbles. Okay, so this is kind of what we're going for okay it's up in the air it's cute she even has a little bit of bang action in the front so I think I'll leave a little bit of hair out I want to add a little bit of additional orange to my hair because it's looking a little bit more reddish so we're gonna add some more orange on top and then I got my bone but the most important part and the first step actually is making sure we're getting the pineapple up and getting it nice and springy and upwards and not like flopping downwards. So I do have a few different hair ties in front of me. So we've got these that are kind of skinny and then we've got, I've got two of these bigger and thick ones. So if you guys are interested in seeing exactly where I got these hair ties from, go ahead and check out the description box below. I'll make sure there are links for you there. All right, so first let me go ahead and situate what we're gonna do with the bangs. I'm just gonna kind of separate them so they can stay out. So now I'm gonna grab the rest of the hair. I'm just kind of pulling the hair upwards and then I'm grabbing my thicker hair tie to secure the base. So I'm actually going to loop this around two times. So one, two. Like you can see the difference when you make the base of the hair tie a little bit tighter. My regular ponytails, I would just loop it around once. But just by making it a little bit tighter, it kind of raised us a little bit more. But I do want to raise it even more. This girl's hair was like poof, it was up, it was straight in the air. So to raise it a little bit more, I'm gonna go in on top of that hair tie with another hair tie, but this time I'm using the skinny one. So literally right here, you can see the current hair tie and I'm just gonna tie this one. Also loop it around twice, but just a little bit higher. Look at that. Look at that, what a difference, right? It's like, we are up. Now we got this cute, like super raised pineapple that even looked almost like a super cute curly kind of bun. Super, super easy. So now I'm basically just gonna kinda fluff it around and play with the bangs so they're situated where I want them. I feel like she kinda has like a side bang situation. So I'm almost gonna kind of try and like and angle it to, to do a little side swoop action. I feel like this is gonna be the winner winner chicken dinner that brings this entire look together, look on pebbles all of a sudden. All right now, so to secure this to my head, I am going to put it in a hair tie. So I'm taking the hair tie like this, bringing it around and then just kind of looping the hair tie around it pull it a little bit so it's not too tight so boom just like that we have got a bone hair tie so I'm just gonna take this part and wrap it around the pineapple mm -hmm. 
Why do I feel like the bone is being like taken over by my hair? <laughs> and boom, honey. This is such a cute costume. Oh my gosh, the bone is killing me. It is killing me. <laughs> okay, so we still have one more step for this hair and that is to add a little bit more orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna scrunch this into my dry hair. Apparently when you scrunch this into dry hair, the color payoff is insane. So I'm really expecting some grayness right now. Oh yes, you can see it. Oh crap, I got some on the bone. Let's not do that. Boom, now we's orange sis, okay? This is probably the quickest hair tutorial I have ever done. This is just so quick, simple, and easy. I love it. So not only do we have a super cute Halloween look that is curly girl friendly, quick, simple, and easy to do, but we also got a really cool tip for your next pineapple so we can make sure it doesn't look dull and tired like a mushroom anymore and looks more alive and beautiful like a pineapple. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as I had fun creating it for you. If you did, please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And if you are new, please do consider subscribing. We have lots of fun over here on this channel. So just go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and I promise you will not regret it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.